are all over dating sites without your knowledge. That's exactly what happened to our next guest, a well-known New York doctor who only discovered the truth when he was confronted by a woman who thought they were in a relationship. We're talking about these romance scams, and Dr. Steve Jones is here with a perspective I've never heard. So, basically, someone took your photo, yes. and they used it on the Internet to bait folks, yes. to scam them in. Yes. What did they tell them about you with your picture? Well, this happens a lot. We get about five to ten notices per day, and this has been going on for five years. So they tell them all sorts of things, but the the idea is that they're, they pretend they're me or someone else using my picture, mm -hmm. and they say they're in love with the lady, and they eventually get to the point where they say they need money sent to them. A woman came to your office screaming at you, uh, mad. Right. What did she say you'd done to her, or thought you'd done to her? Well, she laid out pictures that she had photocopied of me, and she thought that I might have been the person doing that. And I, I explained to her, those are photos of me, but I'm not the person behind that. I explained to her, it's part of a bigger romance scam. To this day, you're getting people who say things like, I really would like to talk to you. I have been scammed two times by your pictures. I fell in love with your pictures, but this is terribly wrong way these scammer guys are doing this, hurting a lot of women. How do they get your, why you, why your picture? What I did don't, you do to someone? I'm kidding. I don't, no. I don't know, but uh, they, they take the picture. You know, it's interesting, uh, Instagram, for example, that yeah. Facebook controls. My Instagram is Dr. Steve G. Jones. They can make it verified, you know, a little blue verified check. Yeah. That way people will know that's me and the rest are fake. Do you think they pick you because you're a New York doctor and some people would be Wrong. like, oh, a doctor, I'll click on that. I would think so. Yeah. You know, a doctor falls in love with you and then, you know, you're going to, uh, he's, tr you know, they set it up as they're traveling yeah. overseas and they need money to get back or something like That's that. That's crazy. You know, there's a company that uses my face to sell wigs and they say my hair's a wig. I, my lawyers call them and like, you better take it down. Don't you have lawyers that can help we, you and find people like that? We do. We initially contacted a lawyer when it first happened about five years ago but unfortunately, a lot of it's outside of the country. My understanding is it's crime rings outside of the country, so we just don't have the resources to go after everyone. Now, I saw things. a story when I was at NBC, um, military men and women whose pictures were being used to scam, they were deployed so they would never see the posts, and someone would say, oh, I'm in the military, and they would scam women out of the money. I mean, this is scary, because you had one woman come in and screaming, angry, someone else could come in even angrier. They're putting your life in danger. Right. And they're, they're hurting our business. They're putting my life in danger because the women get mad and their relatives get mad also. You know, again, Facebook has the power to handle this and they can just flip a switch and that way they can let these ladies know this is the real one and then they can shut down with their facial recognition software all these fake profiles. And are you hearing from other people that say this has happened to I you? I have a friend who it happened to, yes. When I when I was interviewed by a, a newspaper, a friend of mine was also, and he had the same exact thing happen to him. I know you said it's affected your business. Has it affected your personal life, your dating life, too? It has somewhat. I always am clear with ladies that, you know, that's that, and my personal dating life is individual. That's not me. That's something that's going on that I have no control of. So I still maintain that I have to explain that to them. Are you going to fight more to clear this up? I mean, what is your next step? We are. We've had issues with, uh, as I said, social media. We've right. had issues with that. I really think that that's where the, that's where the, um, the biggest impact can be at the point where social media can use their facial recognition software and just simply shut everything else down. What has happened in the past is that Facebook has shut my Facebook account down and my Instagram account down, and we got it back, and they've done some other things that, in my opinion, uh, are unwarranted. So we've had a number of issues, but, but that's where the power is. You know, this would never happen if they would step in, in my opinion, that would be the best way to do things. It is incredible. Well, I hope you keep the fight to clear your name Thank and you. make them, the social media people, responsible if it is in their hands. Thank you so much for sharing your Thank story. It is Thank quite you. a story.